Yeah, this NF album, it's not good. We have a brand new full-length LP here from Michigan rapper N. F. It's his fifth full-length LP, from what I understand, comes uh, not too long after his very popular, very successful number one album, The Search. Uh, also, there was 2021's Clouds mixtape. And this guy's been at it for a long time now. He has a pretty recognizable style and sound. Recognizable is sounding a lot like Eminem, but I suppose we'll get into that soon enough. A lot of outlets and fans and critics kind of celebrate or label this guy as a Christian rapper, but for me, what has stood out about his music more are the fast flows, the passion and sense of drama that he tries to relay through his performances and pen game. Now, are these things that speak to me personally? Not necessarily, but I can at least sense they're uh, part of what makes NF tick as an artist. And given the streak of very impressive numbers he's been seeing with his past couple of records, I didn't really go into this album expecting him to do anything else other than just deliver unto fans more of the same, which I, I guess we did sure, but it's getting to the point of annoyance and, I would say, even stagnation creatively that uh, NF refuses to just, like, evolve and uh, step outside of the shadow of the artist that so obviously influence him. However, in his own mind, if you listen to the actual music and lyricism on this record, uh, you would be led to believe that NF is going on some kind of, like, epic hero's journey with this record, uh, undergoing some kind of profound evolution. Meanwhile, in the opening moments of this album, he just kind of sounds like Eminem if he were a theater kid, giving us a lot of rapid, intense, and passionate flows about fame and success and validation, all set to these pumping, gigantic, fake-sounding orchestral hits. The beat sounds like a hyped-up version of, I don't know, the sound bed that you would get out of a luxury car commercial. And the whole track eventually escalates to this point where NF is arguing with this demon voice. I guess in such a way where he's having this internal battle uh, about his own uh, fame and success in music and how he portrays himself and how he continues to go about uh, seeing fame and success along his musical career. I won't deny it obviously takes a lot of talent, a lot of focus, and, and writing ability to do what NF does, but it's still downright obnoxious despite all the effort being put into it, and honestly comes across just as self-obsessed as the narcissistic clout chasers uh, that he's trying to separate himself from in the industry. Now, this narrative of success and uh, doing what he does in music and just kind of pushing forward through all of what he's dealing with as an artist, uh, that continues on to the following motto, where NF not only tries to define what drives him as an artist, but also, I guess, what doesn't, because he doesn't care about being on red carpets and Hey, who knows, you, you might see him wearing the same clothes twice at some point. Crazy. Production-wise, we have more tacky orchestrations all over this cut, too. And I think the perspective being painted on this track is just a tough pill to swallow. With NF taking shots at the industry in this uh, slim, shady LP-type inflection, which misses the mark because at the time Eminem sounded like this, he was genuinely subversive in his own way, repeatedly catching heat from critics and the media and uh, parents for the things he'd rap about and the way that he acted. Conversely, NF is not. In terms of substance and content, he couldn't be a safer, more PG pick. He goes on in the song about how he could be more famous if he did a bunch of features that he doesn't want to do, or if he started taking notes about how uh, he writes his songs and stuff like that. But he's not gonna, because he's not gonna sell out and compromise his art. Meanwhile, the art that we're talking about is uh, one of the most derivative and formulaic commercial products in mainstream rap today. Like, I'm impressed what I'm hearing here is uh, the vision of one guy, because it honestly sounds like the result of a focus group trying to engineer the most appealing music to uh, angsty, sheltered, white suburbanites. <laughs> <laughs> it's recovery era Eminem copying AJR, who is copying 21 Pilots. Which, it's annoying that he makes such a fuss over this by reminding us he's not an industry artist. Which I think NF falsely associates with going against the grain creatively, which is obviously not necessarily the case. Like, are you telling me honestly that a label would hear the cornball piano balladry on the song Gone from this thing, for example, and say, ugh, what are you trying to do? Uh, put, put us in the poorhouse? 
nobody's ever gonna listen to this stuff. It sounds like a damn Louis Capaldi song. Take the song Mistake 2, which is another piano cut. Uh, this thing is one hopeful synth lead and a driving kick away from being one of those like super meaningful, uh, motivational poster EDM anthems. Meanwhile, the track Happy embraces literally every millennial inspo, radio, pop cliche. Then there's other tracks deeper into the record where he's just hopping on a bunch of super trendy trap beats, or ones that would have been trendy like six or seven years ago. The beat on Suffice sounds like the first thing you'd hear when you type a uh, Drake back-to-back -back era tight beat into YouTube. I mean, I'm sorry if this comparison is too much of an aside, but like, take the new Navy Blue album, for example, which just came out on Def Jam. There are mainstream rap label records that artistically are doing way more risk and adventurous stuff than this NF record. Look, I'm glad NF is making the music that he wants to make and seeing considerable amounts of success doing it, but do we have to delude ourselves into believing that he's doing anything to challenge industry music standards here? Your records climb up the same charts that everybody else's does, and your music is still distributed through majors anyway. Literally everything on this album is just a bunch of microwave pop and rap fusions that have already proven to be successful on the charts, on radio waves for years now. As much as it may feel like winning the lottery, your success is not some kind of like exception to the rule or anomaly that nobody can figure out. You're not an enigma wrapped in a riddle, smothered in a mystery. You're simply making marketable melodrama that people like listening to. And the fact that you're making a career off of it, which is fine, doesn't need to be framed like we're depicting some kind of epic action adventure film or like a paranoid fantasy where you think uh, everybody out there is praying for you to fail and not do well, uh, like on the song Let Em Pray. All the mountainous strings and bombastic instrumentals alone are proof of the delusions of grandeur going into this project. Which, in fairness, I will say does have a couple of bright spots here and there. Uh, the Corday feature on here is pretty decent, and the song Mama is a, a very heartfelt and admirable tribute to NF's late mother, as well as her and his relationship with God and prayer and spirituality, the afterlife, hoping that she's moved on to a better and more peaceful place. It's a genuine tearjerker and also a reminder that there's more to life than the industry rat race, which is maybe what this record kind of needed at the end of the day for him to spend more time reflecting outside of that. I will say the closer on some level also seems like a genuinely emotional moment that's pretty easy to connect with on the record, but uh, that really just kind of com comes across as too little too late. And outside of that, I couldn't really get into much of anything this album offered on any level because there's just so much about it uh, that is a non-starter. Which isn't to say that there won't be people out there who enjoy this thing. I mean, uh, most likely there will be millions and this project may even go number one just like NF's past couple of projects have. But because this channel is about my opinions, I do have to come through and say here that uh, most definitely this record is not for me, and that's why I'm kind of saying that it's not good. <laughs>